Let's know why sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. First, we will draw a circle of uh, one unit of radius. And uh, this is a point P on the circle. And also, draw a coordinate system through point O which is also the center of the circle this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis now this point P has coordinates A and B it means when we draw a perpendicular on the x-axis we get A as the value and when we draw a perpendicular on y-axis from this point we get B here all right so and this we have already discussed this is one unit so OP is one unit now OA or we'll name this uh, vertex or this point as A and this as capital B so length of OA is A and length of OB is small b. Since we have drawn perpendiculars that's why triangle OAP is a right angle triangle right angle that uh, this is right angled at A and we take angle AOP is equal to theta so to find the sine theta we will get the perpendicular upon hypotenuse here perpendicular is OB and hypotenuse is OP this is the perpendicular this length is the perpendicular and O P is the hypotenuse. So O B is equal to small b and O P is equal to 1 since the radius is unity or 1 unit. So what we get simply is sine theta is equal to b. Likewise cos theta is equal to a because cos theta is base upon hypotenuse and base is OA hypotenuse is OP our OA is A OA is A and OP is one unit so we get cos theta is equal to A now from left hand side sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to b square plus a square now in this triangle which is a right angled triangle this is the length a this is the length b and this is one unit right angled here at A which is the point P we can apply the Pythagoras theorem 
which is perpendicular square plus base square is equal to hypotenuse square. So we have perpendicular square is b square and base is a square. We get hypotenuse square as a result which is actually square of 1 because hypotenuse is op which is 1. So we get 1 as the answer. So sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1.